<laughs> we're here and we're ready to share things with you guys. Um, things about questions that you've asked. We're going to play some little would you rather. It's going to be loads of fun. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort of go in like this clockwise direction and have everyone introduce themselves. Um, give just a little short bio. Uh, let's start with Steph. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Your top left as far as I'm going. Right. Hi. <laughs> I'm Stephanie from Stephanie Stitches. I'm a quilter, long arm quilter, pattern writer, mom, homeschooler, all the things. <laughs> all the things. Yeah. <laughs> and what got you started in, in quilting? Um my grandmother actually, my grandmother start, uh, taught me to sew when I was really, really little. And she actually wasn't a quilter. She was a garment sewer. And she tried to teach me how to sew clothes. I was garbage at it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, then my aunt sewed quilts and she taught my grandma how to sew a quilt. And that kind of led me to quilting. So I have been quilting for quite a while and I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, I know to my channel, uh, a lot of you guys may not know Claudia, but Claudia is amazeballs. You have to go check out her channel. I am not kidding. Claudia, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? Well, thank you so much for that introduction. Um, I've been quilting for just about 30 years, maybe a little bit over. Um, I do a lot of online writing. I'm an Island Boutique ambassador uh, for through the next year. Fingers crossed. Uh, they announced it in January. Um uh, I also am doing the Cotton Cunts uh, Mystery Quilt next year. I do a lot of uh, pattern designing, a lot of free tutorials and free patterns. I love writing free tutorials, and I, I really do like writing online articles and things like that. And that's what I do. <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, like, I I know how hard it is to, like, just start and decide you want to do something and then, you know, try to, like make something of in the quilting world, especially like you start on YouTube and you've been on for what, like a couple of years now, three years? Well, way back when I first started online writing, I wrote for another website and I did a couple of videos. They're really, really bad, <laughs> really bad. And then I thought about three and a half years ago, I just said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go for it. And that's when I really started. I decided every time I write a tutorial on my website, I would add a video, even if it's just a short one or whatever. <laughs> Um, so that's, that's, uh, what I've really tried to do more of. Perfect. Well, it's, I'm so glad that I found you and, um, can't wait to just go and see more of your stuff. I'm telling you, I, I'm a fan. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. And you guys, there's, uh, Kathy right there. Hi. Kathy New Creations. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you and your little pup there? No, okay. Well, my pup is Lainey, so she always wants to be held. That's why she's being held. So um, I started sewing back in school. So in junior high, I took home ec, so that's got me interested. But my grandma was the one that did all the quilting. My mother didn't do any kind of sewing whatsoever. So that's why I wanted to, to get into sewing was to do all the quilting. But when, back when I started, it was back in 1980, and it was all done by hand. It wasn't done by machine where I lived. So I had to learn it all by hand. And then as it got into the machine, that's like when I jump started and just ran off with it. Oh my so, goodness. Wow. That sense. Yeah. I love it. That's that amazing. <laughs> yeah. And you've been uh, making um, or sewing up the Fort Worth Fabric Studio patterns for yes. at least a couple of years now, right? Yeah, I did. I Even before they reached out to me, I was going online and getting their kits and some of their free patterns and, and did them up and, and showed everybody. And then they asked yeah. me to, to do it. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. awesome. They're fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to move on to Miss Georgia Sunshine. She's the only one today who's not a quilter, but she is an unboxer extraordinaire. So if you have not been to her channel, you really need to go over there and check her out. Tell us how you got started, honey bun. <clears throat> Thanks. Well, I was always the like mom that did the Girl Scout mom and the room mom and the hockey mom and all the things. And then as my kids got older, they didn't want me around as much. How dare they? And um, <laughs> I started watching YouTube videos, unboxings, hauls, things like that, and decided I thought I could do it. And so I started, and the rest is history. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Awesome. And I just, you open everything. I mean, there is, like, it, it, like 
tell us all the different categories that you can remember that you unbox for. Cause it's not like you just do one thing. Like people can go to your channel and see just about anything that is boxed being unboxed. <laughs> yes. I do lots of clothing videos. That's what people like to see fashion, um, lifestyle, makeup, uh, stationery, pretty much any box except in the adult room. If you know what I mean, I don't do those, but I always keep it really positive and really fun. Um, occasionally you'll see me cook a cooking um, box like a HelloFresh or a Home Chef, or I just did a crock pot um, subscription box not too long ago. I did a pressure cooker subscription box. So if it's a subscription box, you can find it on my channel. But I also do like Dollar Tree hauls and um, Nordstrom or Walmart or Target fun um, budget friendly hauls too. So all the fun stuff. And I always keep it super positive because it's crazy right now in the world. And sometimes you just need a place to come and exhale and relax for a few minutes. Absolutely. So Absolutely. True. Okay, and we had to have a little bit of testosterone in the, in the building here. <laughs> so I thought that I would get my favorite guy to come on and talk to us. Brett, introduce yourself, although you need no introduction. <laughs> Thanks for that. Hey, everyone, I'm Brett. Um, known maybe as Natural Born Quilter by some of you. I have been sewing and quilting for almost six years this coming spring. Live up in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, where it's super, super cold right now. I am a quilter. I am a fabric designer, pattern designer, dad, husband, work for the government. Yeah. Oh, that's see what... Work for the government. Okay, well, we won't, we're going to concentrate on the quilt part. Yeah. <laughs> And the snow part, because I've been seeing all the snow over in your area. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm super jellyfish right now about the snow. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's very cold, but it's fun. <laughs> what is that behind you? I like that. It's, it's, I know that it's your stag and thistle, and yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, just a fun little pillow mini that I threw together a while ago, and I have it up behind me there. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so I think we're gonna like get started. Um, I know that you guys have been some, you know, we have been collecting some questions from the audience. And um, so does anybody have one that they wanna toss out real quick? I know we probably won't be able to get to all of them, um, but we are going to say the questions that we have been receiving and then I'll try to also kind of look in the comments and see if we if I see anything and I can bring it into it that's what I'll do um Stephanie I know you had some why don't you go yeah okay so Christy touched a little bit on this but Jim Bennett asked what made you start a YouTube channel for the people that have a YouTube channel okay um Steph do you sure. want to answer it? Yeah, I can. Um, <laughs> We're gonna do I that. actually started my YouTube channel at the request of another quilt store, Creative Notions. A lot of you know them. Um, she'd asked me to sew up a quilt block for a block of the month tutorial that she was doing. So I was like, well, how do I do that? And she's like, you have to have a YouTube channel. <laughs> so that's kind of how I started mine. And um I've kind of trickled until recently uh, and lately I've done vlogmas and I've put up more videos and I'm kind of really enjoying it. It's, I'm a shy introvert, so it's kind of helping me come out of my shell a bit. So I'm having a good time. I agree. It is having you come out of your shell and I think it's great. You're, you're like, have so many talents in designing um, and, and, putting all the quilts together. So um, you, you, you do a great job and we are happy to have you here. Claudia, what about you? How did you start YouTube? I know you kind of touched on it a little bit. Yeah, well, it was just a great sort of segue from articles I was writing and there was one in particular and I thought I really, ought to, I wanted to demonstrate. It was actually like a recipe or I forget exactly what it was, but, and I needed to demonstrate. It was hard to take, take pictures of it. And so that's how I decided. I said, well, you know, I figure I have a phone and I thought I would give it a try. And then uh, I, I did a few and then I stopped for a couple of years. And then when I uh, really started my website and everything, that's when I really went back into it more. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to go and check out more of your videos. I no. will admit everyone knows I don't have a whole lot of time, but I definitely want to go and check out your technique and stuff. So 
Oh. I'm gonna let you know what I think. Just don't look at the old ones. No. <laughs> That's what I say too. I'm like, oh my goodness, don't go back to the first ones for goodness sakes. Yeah. Um, what about you, Kathy? Well, I was watching YouTube and talking to it, talking about it out of work. And then my coworker that sat right next to me, she goes, you know, you can do one of those because you bring all kinds of things in that are just cute as a Dickens. So I said, well, I don't know what kind of name to have on it <laughs> because everybody else, I thought their names were great. And she goes, well, all the things you made are cute and they're all your creation. So why don't you just have it with your name in it? So she's the one that made up the name for the thing and got me going. So that was it. Awesome. <laughs> and of course, they were all crummy at the beginning too. Kathy, tell us all where you're from, honey, because I can hear that accent. <laughs> That's the whole place up in there, that accent, because right now I'm in Baltimore, but I've been in Texas and Alaska and Japan and Illinois and Oklahoma and Missouri. So that's all that combined. All right. All okay. right. <laughs> all right, Miss George Sunshine, my bestie. How did you get going? <laughs> I just was watching videos and thought I could do it. And I threw it up there. I didn't actually start out to be an unboxing channel. I thought I was going to vlog and learned very quickly that that was not going to happen. My husband does not like to be on camera and kids are hard to film with. <laughs> yeah. So I started showing other things and those were the videos that were getting the most views. And um, I just really liked it. I feel like, on probably in your community the quilting community you do see a lot of older ladies or gentlemen um but in my area there's not a lot of people my age, of people my age. so i feel like there's a niche there people were looking for somebody aging going through the same things and so that just kind of took off Live TV, guys. Live TV. <laughs> <laughs> and I that mute button. I was like, where is it? It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> we like clubs. It's fine. Quiet, quiet. Now, Brett, I know that you don't have a YouTube channel, but I just saw a question pop up um, where people would like for you to talk about the um, quilting style that you prefer, if you have a preference, and how that came about. Yeah, I do, I'm not on YouTube. Um, it's a time <laughs> management thing for me. I know I, a lot of people try to encourage it. I work full time in parenting and fabric design. So, but yeah, cool thing. Um, I kind of always say I'm contemporary traditional because I really love um, kind of more modern fabrics, but with maybe more traditional patterns. So. You'll see kind of, if you, you can check them out on Instagram or Facebook at Natural Born Quilter or my website, if, if since I'm not on YouTube. Um, and then I have my patterns I've designed on there. I love foundation paper piecing, um, like, you know, classic New York beauty blocks, but with like really vibrant fabrics. So, you know, uh, being a fabric designer, I get to use some of my own fabrics that I've designed, which is really exciting. So, yeah, I don't yep. know if that summarizes that. No, that does. That's pretty good. And Claudia, same question. People are interested um, since they are new to seeing you here. They love to know what types of quilting you like to do. I think I veer more towards the traditional, but honestly, I love I love it all. And I'm just amazed at especially some of the modern patterns coming out. It's really intriguing me. I, I think sometimes I notice my newer patterns sort of veer a little bit towards that. Uh, but honestly, deep down inside, I love scrap quilts. I mean, I just, I, you know, I need pattern, but I love scrappy fabrics. I just love to play with the colors and see how they turn out. And um, I, I think any colors pretty much go together <laughs> with the exception of a few, but. <laughs> well, you're gonna find a lot of uh, followers right there. Cause I know a lot of people like doing scrap quilts. And I did see that you were starting uh, our recently anyway you had started doing english paper piecing and yeah that how do you like that you like that it's okay <laughs> i have to get used to it um i had never it was actually an island batique ambassador project it was our final project for 2021 and so it was interesting for me and i also have a few issues with my right hand so i i used to hand i used to uh, i didn't know how to sew a machine on a machine until um, about like five years into quilting. So my first few, my first quilts were actually all by hand, like piecing and quilting them. And, um, but I, that hurt my hand. And so now I can't do as much hand stitching as I wish I could. So, right. um, I think I'll that tackle like smaller, maybe hexes. I, I started out with something really with long, sharp points and it just was a little tough for me. <laughs> okay. 
Um, all right, guys, listen, I'm thinking that we should start the little would you rather because I think that's going to be fun. Um, for all of you guys who are watching, we all have an A and a B. <laughs> I'm going to ask the question and then everyone's going to hold up either A or B, depending on what they, uh, how they want to answer it. Everything in our would you rather is clean. Okay, so I just want to let y'all know, you know, because a lot of people know about <laughs> Also, that's for the pub. Like, you... go ahead, Steph. I was going to say, for whoever's watching, comment below your would you rather in the comments so we can read those too. Oh, yes, that would be great. You guys let us know A or B. <laughs> for you um uh, okay so i have a ton of them i'm just gonna like pick them at random um okay would you rather be able to a please take them slow down. down time by 10 percent or b jump three times higher as you can right now a slow down time by 10 percent or b jump three times as high as you can right now <laughs> I'm the only one who wants to jump really high. Clearly, <laughs> the rest of us want more time to sew. All you talk about is how busy you are. You need. I know, time. I know, but you know, jumping high is pretty cool. I don't know. I thought that was kind of a hard one. <laughs> Look, everybody wants to slow down time. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, all right, this is a good one. Would you rather live in a cave? A, live in a cave, or B, live in a treehouse? <laughs> oh, we all want a treehouse. I mean, have we all seen the movie Chris Family Robinson? That's like the dream, right? I know, right. I know. But, but the cave sounds nice and cool, though. So I don't know. I was, I was like kind of up in the air on that one. Yeah, um, but in the cave, you're, you're dark. It's dark and underground in the cave. I know, right? And wet and damp. And musty. I, I'm too nosy. I got to see everything up in the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been the in a cave? Can get moldy. So I've yeah. been in a cave. Yeah. Okay. I, you know, <laughs> cave. I'm just, all I can think about is that I would much prefer having like damp coolness than being hot. I don't know. I just don't like being hot. I sweat enough well, for like that, 20 people. You'll have that breeze up there going anything. through the windows in the treehouse. That... <laughs> Let me tell you something. Windows don't always help me. Just saying. It's a lot of sweat. I, <laughs> I'm at the airport and I'm all I'm doing is like carrying one bag. By the time I sit down at the chair, like to wait for the darn thing to load, I've got like big old bags of sweat under here. My <laughs> scalp is sweating. I, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do the next one. Let me see. I'm going to try another another page. <laughs> would you rather have A, always have, would you rather always have A, a full phone battery, or B, a full gas tank? <laughs> and there you go. We all want gas in the car. Because <laughs> yeah. gas is expensive. Yeah. Well, not only that, yeah. but like I was just in the car with Christy. <laughs> She's going, I'm really on E. I'm not going to make it to the gas station. <laughs> it's true. I was like talking to Stephanie and Yvette, and I was like, stay on the car with me. Stay on the phone with me. I think I'm going to run out of gas. <laughs> I made it, though. I made it. Yep. You did make it. You did. Okay. Um. Now, this one, I saw this one, and I was like, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> is so we're gonna see how we answer it because i just think it's hilarious would you rather have the olfactory senses of a dog okay would you rather a have the olfactory senses of a dog or b see more colors in the electromagnetic spectrum like a mantis shrimp hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I went with A. You're going with A. You're going. Yep. You want to be like your dog. Yep. I want to smell everything. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think I would rather not smell everything. I just, I'm just being honest. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can plug it up. I can plug that up. You'll have to shut your eyes. <laughs> We're quilters. I'd rather see color I, better. Yeah. I could care less. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. Would you rather a be fluent in legalese or b fluent in French? Hmm. <laughs> All right, we got four for legalese and two for French. <laughs> What's everybody saying down there? It looks like it's mixed. I, it's yeah, kind most people are saying French, but it is quite mixed. Yeah, it's quite mixed. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, here we go. Would you rather have a a personal maid or b a personal chef? Oh. Easy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll eat top ramen every night. I really don't care. Yeah. Clean my uh -huh. house. I Clean have four children. <laughs> the maid will be amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Seriously, I'll eat like chips and dip. I don't even care. Just the house clean. No, I want the food. Bring it on. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'm so picky anyway. I probably wouldn't like half of what they cook. So. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Um, okay. Would you rather be A, YouTube famous, or B, TV famous? Oh. That's A. I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's a Listen, friend. I think, I think that probably those of us who are on YouTube... Yeah, there we go. I've got just about enough of the <laughs> famous as we can handle. That's We're true. Good. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yep. This is this is the top of my limit. I think I'm 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 okay. <laughs> and I watch them chasing like Jennifer Aniston around. I'm like, no. Oh yeah. No. no. Mm. Uh, okay. Would you rather a only be able to use a fork, never a spoon? Or B, only be able to use a spoon, never a fork. <laughs> Tough question. <laughs> I, actually, guys, I hardly ever use a fork. I use a spoon for like almost everything. Unless Y'all, somebody like just put C. C? Oh. Is there a C? <laughs> <laughs> Who what? was that? I wanted to who were they who are they a, a follower of? I want to know. <laughs> Most things you could eat with a spoon, but you can't eat soup with a fork. Right? right? And I yeah. don't know why. It just it seems like you can get more on it on a spoon. <laughs> and that's all I'm concerned about, apparently. Um okay. I'm just gonna go along with the food thing. <laughs> oh, someone is saying chopsticks. <laughs> okay would you rather a eat rice with every meal and never be able to eat bread or b eat bread with every meal and never be able to eat rice <laughs> oops what happened to brett uh-oh we lost him uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, no. he, he'll probably come back I yeah. hope he'll come back. <laughs> I think he might be having a bit of weather up there. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't yeah. choose. He jumped ship. <laughs> He's like, that's it. I can't do it. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, there he is. He's back. Yay. <laughs> we were like, it's too tough a decision. He just can't hang. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he heard me. <laughs> he was frozen. He's still hooking up. <laughs> Yvette, do we want to take a break for a minute from the game and talk about the giveaways? Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Because I know everybody wants a giveaway. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't we start with you, Miss Georgia Sunshine? What oh, you do, well, do you want, are you posting a link? Is that what we're doing? Well, there's a link um, in my description box right now. I know it's not in everybody's, so let me, um, I will type it down here. I don't know if it'll let you guys click. Let's, let's see if it will. 
And what I'll do is I'll also write it on my paper here. If I could find a pin. Oh, look, a pin. Oh, my goodness. And then <laughs> hold it up so that y'all can see it just in case. And I will also say it. Um, what are we? Okay, so I just put the link in there. It is piecing it real. And I know I'm using that um, domain, but I had to. So piecing it real.com slash ultimate hyphen creator hyphen giveaway. And I will write it on my sheet of paper and hold it up. And there are several giveaways that are listed. And what we're going to do is I will run that through uh, Saturday night at midnight. And then on Sunday, I will in order pick winners um, to see. Um, oh, does not anybody. Oh, Stephanie's got it. Okay, cool. Stephanie put a link as well. Yep. And Wanda is saying all she sees is her comments. I don't know about that. I feel really bad about that. I don't know how to fix that. Is everyone only seeing their comments? I can see everybody's on my channel. I I'm can only sure. see sub my subscribers' comments, and yeah. so I can't see any of the links. Oh, okay. So you don't see the ones that say paired? I just no. see ones that say paired. Yeah. Well, most of them will say paired for you guys because the only ones that won't say paired are the ones that are coming from your channel. Yeah, so I don't have anything that says paired. You don't have anything that says paired? <clears throat> no. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to do some more research. <laughs> well, could we <laughs> add the link later to our descriptions? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm going to hold it up. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Piecingitreal.com slash ultimate hyphen creator hyphen giveaway. Awesome. And all you have to do is put your email address in and then you will automatically get a entry. So that's all you have to do. There's not a whole bunch of you know, rigmarole you have to do. You'll automatically be entered. And then we will, um, I'll just pick one, you know, as we're going along and maybe I'll get somebody on there with me so that there's like proof that I didn't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a lot of people saying they, okay, they can't get the link. So let me just say this again. Um, we'll put it in the description box after the video is over. Yes. So if you're not yeah. seeing the link, um, you don't have to tag us. Um, we'll put it in the description box afterwards. And there's, I think, what, six giveaways? About? No, there's more than that. How many giveaways uh, are there? Well, I think that all, there are um, five of us who are doing giveaways, and um, some people are doing more than one. And what you're also going to see is that Brett is giving us a discount, 25% off digital patterns in his shop, uh, through December 31st. So that's going to be a benefit for you guys as well. And all of that I'm going to put in the description box after we're all done because I want to make sure we had everything all set. So you'll, you'll be able to get all of that. Okay. Yes. Um, we got the link to work that you just have to put an S in front of the HTTP or after the HTTP, then it works. Oh, okay. So go ahead and do that. The only thing is I, I know that sometimes there's an issue with that. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it doesn't let us do that. So that's so anybody perfect. on my channel, I've put that link, um, the right, the correct link in my chat now. So if you want to click on that, you can go ahead and enter. Awesome. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm trying to type it again, too. Do you guys you want to shoot another question out here or? Go ahead. Do you want me to shoot another question out for everybody? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, this was a good general question. What is everyone's favorite holiday tradition? Hmm. Like Christmas holiday or it doesn't matter? 
I think whatever holiday, okay. if you don't celebrate Christmas or if you do Christmas or if you have a favorite holiday. Yep. Yeah. Kathy, do you want to start? Well, I like um, I like Christmas, but all my traditions are kind of went by the wayside because there's only like three in the family here that are close. Everybody else isn't isn't near. Aww. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. say everybody was near. What do you like to do? Well, then we would have all got together and had a big dinner. And in this case, um, we're not even all getting together. The three of us are getting together. And we're having Chinese. <laughs> 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 this way, we don't have to cook. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yep. Um. Well, it's usually just me and Jim. And if I'm talking about Christmas, um, you know, Christmas is my birthday. And so what I like to do, um, you know, like the meal is fine. I don't, but honestly, I'm not, I don't care about the food. I know that sounds crazy, but whatever. I'm good with the food. My thing is we go to the movies every year and I get a big old popcorn and a big old diet soda, and I just fall asleep watching a movie. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amaze balls. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> what about you, Claudia? Uh, we um, it's three of us, and then uh, Christmas Eve we sort of dim all the lights, and then we just give out presents. We open our gifts on Christmas Eve, which is really nice. And I did that as a child, so we've carried that on. My husband always opens in the morning. Um, so we always save one gift and that's the Santa gift. So, <laughs> gotcha. so we all have one gift and then we have the stockings to do in the morning, but usually we open all of our presents. I just love it. It's so pretty at night. And you know, if it, if we're lucky enough and it snows, it's just beautiful. So, yeah, I agree. What about you, Christy? <clears throat> mm -hmm. We we're pretty traditional. We wake up in the morning and the kids can always open their stockings. And then usually they have to wait until at least seven before they wake us up. <laughs> and then we open presents and hang out and then we usually eat mid-afternoon we just repeat thanksgiving dinner for christmas again because it's so good so we just do it twice <laughs> yeah. what about you brett what do you like to do uh we're pretty we are big christmas folk in my family um growing up we used to always go on a christmas eve walk in the country because i grew up on a farm which was really nice and then here living in the city with my family we always do uh, lots of Christmas movies on Christmas Eve with appetizers and stuff. And then with a young kid, I mean, we're up at the crack of dawn, like <laughs> Santa <laughs> gifts and what have you. So, yeah. Yeah, I hear that. All right, Steph, you have to answer. You ask, you have to answer. Sure, that no one. problem. So on Christmas, <laughs> on Christmas Eve day, we usually bake all the cookies. And then that evening, we just kind of like, eat appetizers and the cookies and then the kids open their like utility presents like you know the new socks and <laughs> the not fun oh stuff. and then like we make them go to bed and we put the toy presents under the tree and then they can open in the morning because if they do it at night they won't ever go, go to, to sleep bed. and mommy needs sleep <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing yeah. Okay. Did anybody else have any questions? That was a great question. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm look. I'm going through here. I know that um, someone actually sent an, a question through that says this, Mr. Lewis, <laughs> I loved Stag and Thistle. What was your inspiration for that line? Oh, geez, so formal, Mr. Lewis. That's a good question. <laughs> um, so yeah, Stag and Thistle was my first fabric collection for Northcott Fabrics, and it was really inspired by growing up in Summerland, BC in the Okanagan, which is this like gorgeous part of Canada. Um, everything in that collection was really inspired by little kind of mementos and things from my childhood growing up there. Um, from deer being in the field when we pull into the farm to like barn swallows that are on our property and magpies and like it's quite funny one of the little i can show this because we're live and i have it right here one of the <laughs> prints is inspired this like little tin my mom gave me it was hers from when she was like way younger it's like an avon tin but there's a print that looks really similar to this nest so yeah all little memorable things from growing up there on the farm yeah. oh i my love gosh. vibrant I colors so that was yeah. the first collection yeah, that's that collection is so beautiful. I was telling Brett, everybody, before you guys came on, that mm -hmm. I have some stashed away. I just I haven't used it yet because I I love it so much. Same here. <laughs> yep, I haven't used mine. 
No. I just, I have bolts of it, obviously. I mean, I get that as the fabric designer, but I Oh, I'm that. coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> We're I all like, it out And put my new collection on the shelf because I made so many projects with it, obviously for marketing and stuff. And yeah. um, I mean, I hate saying this, but you kind of get sick of sewing with the same fabric after a year. Like I made like- No, I that's, I get that. You have to come back like, yeah, to it. Enough, so. Yes. Yeah, you have to definitely. come back to it. That's I all. I I have a UFO that I think I'm going to work on at Christmas that has it in it. So I'm excited to do that. <laughs> Yvette's showing it all off. I yes, love man. it. I, I I listen, the first time I saw this fabric, I had, you know, I mean, I, I was... I was one of those quilters that when I started, I, I we didn't have any money. I mean, not that I'm you know, loaded right now, but I did a lot of shopping at Joann's and never really knew the difference. And just like everybody, you know, like I think we all kind of went through that. Mm -hmm. And then when I started like going to quilt shops and then <clears throat> feeling the fabric and I started learning about the designers and doing all this stuff. So when I saw this, I was like, I want to know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, it's no secret. I interviewed Brett for my um, foundation paper piecing membership. And that that interview was one of the best ones I've ever had. Brett, you are just you're so nice. I just want to let everybody know he's genuinely such a sweet person. And um, I mean, he's taken the time to come here tonight just because I asked him and I'll do anything for you, Brett. Anything. Uh, uh, so <laughs> it was actually thinking back on that. Yvette, I, I think that was probably one of my best interviews I gave. Like it was very can like it's probably the most candid I've ever been on an interview. Like yeah. just yeah, like visiting with friends, which is nice. So right. yeah. Yeah. So another and good Lisa, I saw a question come yeah. through, and I'm not the quilter, so I figured this is a legit question. <clears throat> Somebody's asking where to buy Brett's fabrics, what shops they're in. Can you elaborate on that for those of us who don't know here in the chat? Yeah, the, the quick answer is if you go to Northcott Fabrics website and then find yep. Brett Lewis from National Born Quilter and Designer Profile, and then it has each collection I've designed. If you go to the collection, there's a drop down menu that says where to find your stockist and it will say each state that it's still available in. it actually shows what SKU is at that store and it will list the store down to the SKU or the online shop so that's the easiest way to do it awesome yes perfect yes. i also have had a oh, i'm also seeing in the chat a couple other things can i chime in um a couple um people are saying um that sometimes if you are clicking on the link for the giveaway and you have to do a confirmation, it's going into spam. So check your spam, guys. Um, it will be there. Let me see. And yes, you can only enter once. Everybody gets one entry. And I also have one of my subscribers' daughters watching. So hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Lily's like, I don't know that lady, but. Just said, hey. No, Lily's mom watches you too. So. Oh, well, hi, Lily. <laughs> okay, does anybody else have any really cool questions? Hold on, I have this. My list yeah. is not, I didn't have a lot. So I got another good question, um, which would apply to all of us. What do you all do besides sewing, quilting, slash YouTube? Okay. Um, Christy, you want to go with that one? What do you do besides YouTube? I am a mom and a wife and YouTube is now my full-time job. So I never really understand that question. Be I guess people don't understand that YouTube can be a job, but it is a full-time job. Yes, it definitely can be if you wanted to, for sure. Yeah. What about you, Claudia? What do you do besides quilting and making YouTube videos? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, my husband, and I love to hike. Uh, when we can, and um, I help help my mom a lot, so I, I do that a lot, which is nice. And um, watch a lot of uh, uh, mystery movies <laughs> and read a lot oh, of mystery yeah. books. There you go. The British kind, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Brett? Um, besides quilting, um, I mentioned earlier, but yeah, I have a dad and a husband, and I work full time for the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, the federal government. So for you guys, it would be like uh, the USDA, like the agriculture side. 
side. So okay. in a nutshell, I'm like an agriculture police officer. It's what I went to school for. Like I went and got my degree in agriculture, my bachelor of science, and then got a job with the government. So, and I love my job. My day job's awesome. So I get to drive around the country all the time. So, Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Busy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do, Kathy? I know you just got a new oh. job. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing that I was doing before. I work um, in a dental office. So I'm the one that checks you in and calls your insurance, finds out what you got, that kind of thing. Yep. Awesome. I've been doing it for about 18 to 20 years now. So. Yeah. Wow. Steph, what about you? Okay. So, well, the biggest thing is I'm a mom of four kids um, and they, they're all, they're homeschooled. The oldest two are schooled. The youngest two are too little yet. But um, so that's a big part of my life. I love to read and play the flute. Um, and I run a fabric store, online fabric store, and I'm a long arm quilter and a pattern designer and, 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 and. <laughs> <laughs> Jack of all trades. You do it all. Yep. <laughs> Uh, well, I have a job uh, outside the home as well. I uh, I do accounts payable and payroll. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. You know, it does pay the bills. I, As everyone knows, well, my peeps know that I've been trying to make quilting my full-time gig. That's not going to work. So now I'm sort of pivoting again. Um, I have a quilt shop online, but I'm working to really downsize that a lot because um, it's taking away from the things that I have now discovered I would rather do, which is more teaching and designing patterns. And, um, oh, someone just said Stephanie can sing. Oh, okay. Everyone is saying, we want to hear you sing, Stephanie. <laughs> you got to sing something now. Oh, I don't know. Me. They're all saying. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for people to get tired of me singing that. I mean, seriously, I am waiting because they still ask me to sing that like every time I'm live. It's like absolutely no balls. And I can't sing. So, <laughs> okay. So, what we're talking about is that um, when I long arm, I sometimes sing <laughs> and somebody might've recorded me and put it on you without me knowing. <laughs> yes. Someone did. <laughs> yeah. Someone did that. <laughs> so um, I do like to sing, but not on demand. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So other questions. Um, people, someone asked, what was your first quilt? And did it make you famous or was it a flop? I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I think when I was making my first quilt, which I don't even remember what my first quilt was. Uh, I don't think I was thinking about being famous at the moment. And so that would be no. <laughs> what about you, Stephanie? What was your first quilt? My Were first you, like quilt. famous immediately or what? <laughs> oh, gosh, no. My first quilt was a junked up mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my first quilt, which I put in the bin where it belonged. <laughs> my second quilt was a baby quilt. I have four children. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I actually did make this little uh, like table topper and it was little. Um, and I do remember that my, <clears throat> my quilt top did not even cover my batting. <laughs> and I just... Yeah, but it's but I still put it out. It's like on my table right now <laughs> because I remember that that's where I started and look at where I'm at now. My stuff is still not perfect, but at least I cover the batting. That's what I, I just tell myself. As long as I cover all the batting, I'm I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Beach is asking, um, uh, Brett, what are you designing now? Is there anything you're working on that you're allowed uh to talk about? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, stay tuned for January. Oh, exciting. Okay. Fabric collection wise. And then I'm always working on, so whenever there's a new collection, I have to design a plethora of patterns. So there's always that. And I don't love pattern writing, but I've gotten better at it. So, um, yeah. And then I just finished what I was, what I'm working on. I just finished, I'm finishing a tree skirt that I'm, just finish quilting, oh, so. oh, cool. Well, I want to talk to you about that January announcement <laughs> later. 
Yeah. Later. And I'll answer your the, <laughs> the first quilt that I did because I literally just did a virtual trunk show recently. So it was right here. So this is the very yeah. first quilt oh. I ever made. Oh, Ooh. wow. And it was oh, a baby goodness. quilt for my son. Oh, nice. Which is I've actually funny. been wanting to do a quilt Cute. like that with the square and square. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so monochromatic. <laughs> if you look at what I do now, like, compared to it's the bright, beautiful. colorful stuff is, like, quite different, so. Yes. What about you, Kathy? Uh, mine was the handmade, and it was a baby quilt. Each little block was different, and it was all in yellow and green. And I still got it in my cedar chest. I haven't given it to anybody. It's oh not my goodness! Yeah, mm -hmm. Claudia, what was your first quilt? Well, I went. I I taught myself to quilt, so I bought a book and I went to a fabric store and I cut out templates from like cereal boxes. <laughs> and I, like I said, I didn't know how to use a machine, so it's it, it is still it's a big. It's actually pretty big. It's a it's a double size. Wow. Um, it's tucked away in a cedar chest like Kathy's and um, but I still love it. I'm very fond of it. Not, no, none of the points match. None of the it, it, <laughs> the lumps in the in the it all over the place, but it's still special to me. So I, I'll never get rid of it. So <laughs> and, you know, you never see that like you you think it you if to you it's like this. Woo, 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 right. But you don't see it. I are I, I used to um, sew with Fort Worth Fabric Studio as well. And there was one particular quilt that we did. Where when I put the thing together, I mean, y'all, my stuff is still not perfect, except whenever I'm doing my FPP, then it's perfect. <laughs> um, but I was putting it together and literally my points were like at least a half an inch off, a half an inch. <laughs> and if you zoomed in, you were looking at it going, oh my goodness, I can't believe. But when you step back, you couldn't even tell. It's like, so I, I totally, when I was doing my tutorial, I was like, listen, I would never do this normally. However, look at this mistake up close. It's horrible. It's like the worst. It, you can't possibly have made it worse. And then you stepped back and you really couldn't see it. So I was like, stop being so darn hard on yourself yeah. because everything you make is perfect. It's from yeah. your heart. It's it, you made it with your bare hands for somebody. You love them. They, you know, I said, it's, it, that to me is the worst thing about quilting is when people come in and they are so hard on themselves. I know because it took me probably 10 years to stop being so hard on myself and just accept, you know what? It's beautiful when it's done. It, it is. Even if you have mistakes, it's, that's not even important. It's the heart that went into it. And so that's what I love about quilting. And uh, that's what I want to teach people is that it's all beautiful. It, it, it's just everything is. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop being sappy now. Let's go to another one. <laughs> <laughs> but that is truly how I feel. <laughs> well, it is. And one of the questions I got was, what is one piece of advice you would give yourself way back when you started quilting? And that is one of the things I always talk about. Don't be so hard on yourself. Like, you're going to get better. Your first one might not be perfect, but well, you might all you better. need to see is progress. You don't need to see perfection. You just need to see progress. So, yes. Yeah. I totally agree. Totally agree. Um, okay. So what do we want to do now? Let's do something else fun. Do we have more questions? I love the questions. <laughs> there was one good one. It said, what is your favorite tool? Oh, it's oh. I, I don't see it anymore on the screen, but like, what is your favorite quilting tool? I thought okay. that was an interesting one. Kathy, what's your favorite tool? My sewing machine. <laughs> 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 yeah, because you had to hand sew for how long? <laughs> I'm like, bring on the machine. <laughs> but the one you can't live without is your seam ripper. <laughs> Yeah, I try not to use mine. I try to go, okay, is it really that bad of a mistake? Can I just leave it in there? Like, <laughs> Christy, why don't you tell us what your favorite tool is when you're making a YouTube video? Because there are a lot of tools that go into that, too. I'm pretty basic in my editing and my thumbnails. Um, I love iMovie. It's easy. I love PicMonkey. I'm not, I'm not a big, huge tool girl. I keep it simple. Oh, okay. That's, that's the easiest way to do it. That's for yeah. sure. 
Yeah. It, and and the funny thing is that people think they can't do a YouTube channel, but really all you need is like a camera or like your phone. Your phone. Yeah. Your phone will pretty much do everything. Editing really. software. If you have iMovie, if you have an iPhone, if you've got iMovie right there, it's got it. right. really pretty easy. Very true. I agree. What about you, Steph? What's your fave? Um, well, there's so many, but probably what I'm kind of addicted to right now is my Acorn Precision Piecing Pen. I absolutely love it. I've used it a lot in my videos and people have asked me about it. It really is a game changer for making your seam super flat. So I got to find my pen. You gave us one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys, y'all don't want to see my room. You, you just don't. Um, but yes, I, I think that I would love that like two bits. Yeah. I personally love my stiletto. I just, I, you know, I, I so slowly, I like to precisely get thing in, things in the, uh, under the needle and I am way too much of a perfectionist, but I love my stiletto cause it helps. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Brett? You have a fave? I'm pretty basic when it comes to like a good old ruler and a rotary cutter, but I really like my sewing rooms in my basement. So lighting is really important to me. Uh, big difference. So my favorite thing is probably, I have a really nice daylight company, like stand up lamp with the two arms on it. And it has a mount for my phone, which is really nice for doing it okay. if I do a little video or thing. So it's just really handy, but any good lighting. I like, you know, there's so many options out there. Yeah. yeah. I'm like blind as a bat. I have like this giant Hollywood light on right now. And I usually put it, put it on even whenever I'm sewing. Cause I can't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm with you on the light. Yeah. That's yeah. It's I important. I have two daylight lights on right now. I love that brand of, I love them. Yeah. 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 Cause I'm in the basement as well. Why? Well, it's funny. Cause people are like, Oh, you're sewing them so nice. I'm like, it's like maybe eight by 10, like it's small, but you know, you make mm -hmm. it look, you can really stage something if you have to make it look nice, but it always, yeah. I always felt <clears throat> people always say, oh, you're going to do like more tutorial videos or something. And I mean, me, I always say, oh, it's too hard. I don't have time. I don't have the setup, but maybe it's not as hard as it sounds. You guys are, a lot of you. <laughs> it's sound like really you not it, hard. So it's just time. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can totally do it. I, I will just mention quickly about, and cause I know yeah. they posted to my store for that coupon. Um, I just applied that just to my digital patterns. Cause I do have some like bigger items on there that aren't discounted. So if anyone's curious, I but, I'm telling you right now, I want to buy that flipping quilt. If well, that's I the thing. had, watch someone try to oh buy my that goodness. With 25%. <laughs> when I saw that, I, I just sat there and I was like, okay, do I have a credit card? What, what, oh uh, I, like, what, what I have... never sell quilts, but I'm just like, I have too many. So I was like, I'll just throw these up, see if they go. But that's oh my one. goodness. Yeah. I would buy it in a flipping heart. <laughs> Y'all go to my store, buy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I kind of, uh, we're doing a lot of quilting questions. I saw a question come across for Christy. They want to know, Christy, what your favorite box is that you're unboxing? Well, my boxes are like my babies. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is such it a hard question. It, 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 it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, my favorite clothing box is Wantable. My favorite just like lifestyle box, I love Oceanista. Uh, Margo yeah. Elena, which I just opened today. Y'all, if you're not subscribed to my channel and my Wantable video today, if you like clothing unboxings, I do try-ons. But there's a giveaway also in that video, and there's three winners for some Kendra Scott jewelry. So I'd love for you to have you guys come over and subscribe. Um, I don't know. I say almost every day, this is in my top five favorites because I just, <laughs> I love them all. I love subscribing I know. Boxes. That is a hard question. Yeah, there really is. I love journal junk box if you're a stationary lover. I think FabFitFun, a lot of people like to uh, complain about that box, but you really do get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of really good boxes out there. There's a lot of not so good boxes. And even if you're looking for budget friendly boxes, you can find boxes under $20, tons of them. Um, yeah. So there's truly something for everyone. And I have opened quilting boxes before, even she though did. I didn't really know what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, though. 
<laughs> I try to teach her a couple things and you know and the thing about Christy is she is like her mind is like a steel trap. She remembers like details of things and I am so envious of that because I mean she'll like remember who Tula Pink is. She like I, things that I will have talked about like for you know just off the cuff and then she's like aren't you like, isn't that Tula Pink that you like took the picture with and you were like all, you know, fangirl? Yes, that was her. That, that's the well, one. that's because you're my bestie. So I pay attention to the things that you like. I know. Um, but I have picked up stuff through osmosis, you know, what a jelly roll race is and a fat quarter and a layer cake and uh, uh, yeah. a charm pack. Very like, I know the lingo. I just, y'all are going to get me to the dark side at some point. I'm we sure. are going to recruit you. <laughs> I think we need a girls weekend, ladies, where it's a, a Christy quilting boot camp. Oh, I've got an extra sewing machine. I'll bring it. <laughs> yes. And someday we are going to live next to each other. I, we have to be next door. Like just Oh, I think right when there. our husbands are gone, I think we're just going to oh, yeah. live together and be like those old With ladies cats. that cause havoc in just the neighborhood. Just cats. Me, you, and cats. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> so here was a fun question that came across that could apply to everybody. They want to know what everybody's drinking, if you've got something to drink. <laughs> I have... A coffee <laughs> and a bottle of water. I just have a Coke. Water. I, I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, oh yeah. Your have you tried Dr. Heart. Pepper? Have you tried Dr. Pepper Zero? Uh, no. I haven't even seen that in Canada. So. Oh well, if they ever have it, come over. It's good. I mean, I think that people either like it or they don't. Like, my husband is like, oh, I don't like that. You know, because we're diet Dr. Pepper people all the way, right? And then when they came out with the Dr. Pepper Zero, I don't remember what it was, but there was something, like, somebody had them, and I tried one, and I was like, oh, it was really good. So, I don't know, maybe try it if they ever have it come over, because now yeah. you can only find it in cans over here. Well, I can barely find this, and I found a couple cases at the grocery store, so I just bought them, because so, I don't ever see them. Yeah, I hear you. I really do. Kathy, what are you drinking? Well, I was drinking hot coffee, peppermint that I made with my Keurig machine. And uh -huh. so for Christmas for myself, I bought this new Ember cup. Let me see if I can get it up there. See the little purple on it? Yeah. 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 Okay, so it's flashing purple because it's empty. So you put it on a charger, <laughs> put, you, put it on your charger. And when it turns green, then you pour your coffee in it and you sync it to your phone. And I keep my coffee at 140 degrees. So it stays in there for hours and keep oh, it hot. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's my cool. goodness. <laughs> well, that's a gift to me. <laughs> that is a gift. That's oh, my cool. goodness. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> what you drink, Steph? You didn't tell us. Did you? Oh, yeah. I've got a, I've been nursing this for about three hours and it's cold, but it's so good. I uh, was at Target and I picked up a white chocolate mocha as a little treat. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting because I do like hot coffee, but even once it gets cold, I'm fine with it. I, I mean, I'll, I'll drink it either way. Um, but that's still that that's still pretty good. And everybody wants you to link the cup now, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you have an Amazon affiliate link, you might want to put that in. <laughs> uh, I don't, but it's called Ember E M B E R, and they got okay. sales going on them now. They're ten. Uh, they're eight inch, ten inch. They're different colors and everything. So just check them out. Oh, there you go. Go, go yeah. look for it, guys. E M B E R, yeah. Ember. Mm -hmm. Yep, <laughs> you'll like it. Yeah. Okay, what do we have next? <laughs> no moss is growing under this rock. <laughs> we can do well, some more. Lot. Never have I ever, or whatever. Yeah, okay. I've got a lot of questions, but they exclude uh, Christy, so I don't want to. Oh, that's okay. Anymore. I'm okay. I'm just here for the ride. No, no, that's okay. We should go back to the game. Yeah, we're going to do more Would You Rathers because those are fun. And I, st I still have like a kajillion left. So it's not like we're going to run out. <laughs> okay, here's a great question. Would you rather, A, your shirts always be two sizes too big or B, one size too small? <laughs> and we can appreciate that, Brett. 
I think you want me in a too 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 big dough. I think everybody's <laughs> ready for that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um oh okay. Would you rather A have a photographic memory or B an IQ of two hundred? <laughs> Pressure's on. There you go. <laughs> okay, we all want to be able to remember everything. That's yeah. what I want. Yep. Because sure. then you don't need you don't need that IQ of two hundred if you can remember everything. <laughs> right. Especially, so the, especially the older we get. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're so smart, Kathy. You're so smart. <laughs> That's so true. Okay. Um, would you rather a Receive two thousand dollars a month until you die, or B, get five hundred thousand dollars right now. <laughs> All right, we got two. We want five hundred thousand. Everybody else says, "Till I die, I want money." There you go. <laughs> Guaranteed, two thousand a month. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, would you rather A, instantly get to your goal weight and get buff or in shape, or B, instantly grow four inches? And I'm thinking that that means tall. Oh, I don't know. Okay. See, I'm short. What happened to Steph? Is she frozen? Yep. Yeah, I think she's frozen. Oh, no, she's frozen. <laughs> well, okay. even four inches, that me being short four inches ain't going to help me any at all. <laughs> oh, you know, any little bit will help for me. I, I'm so tired of having to pull out a darn ladder. <clears throat> I'm done. Okay, perfect. Am I unfrozen? <laughs> oh. No. Yes, you're unfrozen. Okay. <laughs> only your voice on my end. <laughs> Yeah, I only, well, she, I only she's still voice, frozen then. over here. I, oh. Her voice is not frozen, but she's like this. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good looking. <laughs> well, that, you look better than me. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as long as we can hear you, I think we're good. Maybe you'll come back around in a sec. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, here you go. Would you rather go on tour with A, Elton John, or B, Share. Uh, that's okay, a tricky one. Stephanie, you're gonna have that to is hard. Me. That's hard. Yeah, Stephanie will have to tell us. Stephanie will have to tell us. A. A? Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Once I saw his movie, I was like, I would do anything with Elton John. He seems like a load of fun. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, here's a good one. Would you rather A, sell all of your possessions or B, sell one of your organs? Oh. Mm. Uh. Oh, Stephanie's <laughs> Weird unfrozen. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. I don't this like that like one. <laughs> you didn't like that one? I didn't either, but I couldn't give up my sewing machine. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, you want to? You don't want to give up your sewing machine? That's funny. No. I like that. Okay, well, I was thinking one. about helping somebody out by selling your organ. Sure. That's what I, was well, I didn't even yeah. think about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, would you rather a have Adele's voice or b Beyonce's dance moves? <laughs> I already have Beyonce's yeah. dance moves. Yeah. I would be so flipping happy if I could actually <laughs> sing because I sing whether I can or not, and I think other people would be happy too. But we're not gonna go there. Um. Okay. Would you rather a sleep in a doghouse or b let stray dogs sleep in your bed? <laughs> I'm the only one who wants to sleep with all the puppies. <laughs> I mean, stray dogs. But they're strays. Who 
cares? It's not their fault they're stray. They won't be stray anymore if they're in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. We're 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 just way too telling here. <laughs> Okay, I already know what Christy's going to say. Would you rather... <laughs> I, watch, I'm going to be wrong. I'm not going to say what I think. Would you rather A, have unlimited international first-class tickets, or B, never have to pay for food at restaurants? <clears throat> oh, that's not what I thought she was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Kathy, we just want all the free food we can get. <laughs> Come all over my house, it's all free. I'm gonna go get it. It's interesting because I like I've traveled a bit and I don't know. It's like I kind of I'm a homebody. Yep. I like going and doing things and seeing my friends, but as far as like going to a foreign country or something, I really don't care anymore. I don't that's terrible. <laughs> But it's like, I like just being home or being able to just hang out with people I don't get to see a lot or something like that. Anyway, um, let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Okay, would you rather A, lose the ability, ability to read or B, lose the ability to speak? Ooh. This is a tough one because I talk a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I love to read. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I do too. That's why I would rather. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I definitely give up speaking over reading. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me get to a different chair, a different page. I feel like we have uh, an audible. They can read to you. Yeah. That's true. It didn't specify that. <laughs> um, okay. Would you rather A, know all the mysteries of the universe, or B, know every outcome of every choice you make? Ooh. Ooh. That's like seeing the future. You can see every outcome that you make. At least know if you're making the right decision. Or not. There you go. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> wrong ones. <laughs> oh, look at oh. we're like split. Half, yeah. We're like totally split. Oh my goodness, wow. that's a good question. If you're totally split, that's a good question. <laughs> um, that was a deep one, <laughs> right? It's split okay. in the comments too. Really, it's split yeah. in the comments. Is it okay? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I guess okay, for so, me, that one, like, if you knew all the choices ahead of time, I feel like it would be kind of really a boring life. I don't. I don't either. But that's just me because I'm so tired of making bad decisions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just, I, at this point, I want to know. <laughs> Please, and what would you do? What would you do, what you, do? <laughs> if you know all the mysteries of the universe verse? What are you going to do? Write a book? Sure. I mean, <laughs> there you go. Then I'll just read your book, see? <laughs> Not if you lost your ability to read. read. I can still read, though. I picked that one. <laughs> That's right. I could just tell my husband I'm always right, and I'd be right. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a good one. I think this might be divisive as well. Would you rather have your whole house, A, completely carpeted, or B, completely tiled? <clears throat> <laughs> Me and Claudia, and then everybody else wants tile. <laughs> I love carpet. When I was growing up, the house that my dad had, he put carpet everywhere. Like our bathroom had indoor outdoor carpet. And I'm not saying that that's the way to go. I'm just saying I got so used to you didn't have to wear socks, you know, and your feet would never dirty and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. That's just a, it's a me thing. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I did that one already. Okay. Would you rather A, have a horrible job, but be able to retire comfortably in 10 years or B, have your dream job, but have to work until the day you die? Mm. Ay, ay, ay. 
I'm already gonna have to work till the day I die, and I hate my job. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Wow, <laughs> look, we're split right down the middle on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody in the comments saying? They're all saying B that I can see. Oh, there's a couple A's in there. I, I, see, some A's. A's. Yeah. I see some A's. Yeah. I see okay, A's. that's interesting. Um, okay, would you rather A, stay in during a snow day or B, build a fort? <laughs> Claudia, you have to build your own fort. That's I, right. I, I love building snow. Forts. You're on your own. <laughs> I haven't done it in a long time, but <laughs> I haven't either. In fact, I think the last time I built a fort, it was all sheets. You know. <laughs> um. Okay, so here's another one, sort of like one we just had, but it's a little different. Would you rather a be able to go to any theme park in the world for free for the rest of your life or B, eat for free at any drive through restaurant for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we're split on that too. <laughs> I'm just not a huge fan of fast food. I don't know why. I used to be, but I don't, it don't like me back too much. What are you talking about, Willis? Every day at lunch, you're like, I'm going to Popeye's. Great. I don't have any choice. <laughs> if I went to a sit-down restaurant, I would never get paid. <laughs> and I have eaten egg Every salad for the Starbucks. past three days. Starbucks. Okay, that's not food. That's like coffee. What do you call your sugar plum Danish girlfriend? Girl, they don't ever have that darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I ask them every day for a darn sugar plum day. I'm never just have saying, it. I talk to you every day, and you're always at the fast. I ask for it every day. <laughs> <laughs> they never have it. <laughs> of course, they're probably saving me from myself because I would eat like a whole slew of sugar plum bananas. Okay. Um, okay. This, this one's kind of funny. <laughs> just, just the mental picture of it. <laughs> Would you rather A, be forced to dance every time you heard music, or B, be forced to sing to any song you ever heard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the only one who wants to dance. <laughs> um... We, are, we have actually almost done every single one. This is hilarious. Okay, would you rather A, have free Wi-Fi wherever you go, or B, be able to drink unlimited free coffee at any coffee shop? Oh, I know your answer. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, we got coffee in, in common here. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> As long as it's a frou frou coffee, because I don't like drip, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> um, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Would you rather A, never have to clean a bathroom again, or B, never have to do dishes again? <laughs> That's easy for me. <laughs> oh, look, we're almost split. Almost split. <laughs> <laughs> oh. see i don't mind doing dishes as long as i don't have to like lean over and try to scrub the other wall or whatever so i hate that in the bathroom should I we have everybody if there's any last questions put them in the comments yeah, yeah. Do the last round of questions yeah yes let's try to look look at the questions you're right i'm so glad that we have other people here not just me <laughs> i would put you rather all night <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. It would kill the person who thought this up. I don't know what that one was. Okay, we'll just, let's, you guys have any questions? Oh, you can't get an auto washer for the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> I think it was the dishes one. Yeah, it's the dishes one, yes. <laughs> Family of six, I don't like doing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just seeing people uh, doing the would you rather. Wanda wants to know, would you rather... What is your choice of binding a quilt? I'm not sure what that means. 
maybe hand or machine binding. That's what I was thinking. Oh, perhaps. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Machine. Machine. <laughs> hand. Machine. I hand bind everything. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Awesome. I actually like I like putting the front with a machine and the back hand binding. I just don't have time. That's my thing. Uh, if I had time, I, I actually really like uh, doing the other side, the second side by hand. Um, it really relaxes. I find it so relaxing. I can just, get, it was, I love binding. That's, actually, that's one of my favorite parts of my, making my quilts is the binding. Just that finishing touch, the yeah. hand binding on the back is so relaxing to me. So <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like the last moment after you spent all that time with this project. And then you're either, maybe you're giving it away. I don't know. I mean, I do that with a lot, or you're like, okay, it's almost done. I like it too. What TV on in the background or music or something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Wanda clarified, she said she wants to know if we want to, if we miter or if we straight bind. Miter. 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 Mm -hmm. Somebody it's asked, a, what is unanimous. The <laughs> <laughs> um, Somebody was asking, what is the best sewing machine for a beginner? Well, this wow. is just me, and I'm sure we'll all say something different, but I say baby lock. Baby locks are just so easy, and I only say that because pretty much at the same time that I bought my first baby lock, I also tried a Bernina, and the Bernina, I wanted to chuck out the window. So I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> for a beginner, I think that baby locks are more intuitive. She says she wants to start making her own dog bandanas, which sound fun. Oh, okay. all right. When you, guys I think that's a hard question with the sewing machines because um, mm -hmm. the best advice I can give anybody is go to a sewing center that has multiple brands. Yeah. Because yep. it's all going to feel different to you. Like I'm a Janome girl. I love Janomes. I don't want anything other than a Janome, but that's me. She loves, um, Yvette loves baby locks. Other people love Berninas. So I would just say that's the best thing you can do is go try them out and stick to a budget. If you have a budget, don't let them talk you into something you can't afford and you don't want. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't even going to give a name brand. I was just going to say, make sure it has a straight stitch and a zigzag and then go from there. Okay. Yeah. All Instead right. of just don't ever just get a zigzag, a straight stitch for your first machine because then you're going to regret it and wish you got something with a zigzag. Yep. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Brett, what do you think? Just, just, you know, your opinion. I, I think, I mean, Stephanie's advice was spot on. I think it's really important to try on multiple. I'm a Janome guy as well. So maybe <laughs> I like that answer too. But yeah, no, my first sewing machine was a beginner Janome and it, was in my budget and I just loved it. And then now I've upgraded. So, um, but yeah, it depends on the person and what feels right too. So. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Claudia, what do you use? I use a Janome also, but I love okay. Stephanie's advice that I really think people, you just got to sit down then and try a bunch of different yeah. ones, you know, to get I agree. I really, yeah, I agree. That's true. Well, how, what, um, how old were you when you got your first sewing machine, Brett? Um, it, I, it was five years ago. I just started well, sewing five years ago. Okay. So. See, I got mine when I was in, in, um, junior high. So that was way back in the seventies. So they I didn't have the <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a, believe it or not, I got top of the line Sears Kenmore with all, with 23 cams in it, which gave all those uh -huh. extra stitches. Yeah. That was a big deal way back then. Yep. yep. Somebody my loved dad, you. My dad took me, believe it or not, not even my mother. My dad took me to buy it. Nice. That's <laughs> awesome. Some of those older machines, like you can't beat them. Like they don't, I shouldn't, say, I mean, they don't make certain things like they used to. And I've seen like some of those work yep. first sewing machines mm -hmm. um, yeah. that just keep going and going. Yeah. yeah. I think that I would be like, because all I've ever owned is um, 
you know, computerized machines. So like if I ever had to like thread my own needle, I'd probably want to slit my wrist. I know that's horrible, but I'm just saying <laughs> I I have such a hard time, even whenever I'm trying to thread a needle, like to do cross stitch or something. And if I had to do it every time I was on the machine, I probably would be like, okay, I've quit. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> so I say, look for the automatic needle threader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody's talking about their machines. That's yep. cool. That's cool. <clears throat> Did you guys see any other questions? No, I just see a lot of people talking about machines. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I listen, I know that you guys all have, we all have a busy life right now. Um, is there anything that anybody wants to talk about before we close up? Like, do you want to talk about, um, projects that you have coming up on your channels or anything like that? And then we can maybe wind it up. Well, I'll talk about, I'll go first. Perfect. Okay. Go. <laughs> uh, I do a monthly series and it's a scrap. It's called working our scraps off. And I just do a little freebie project. I'm actually going to post my next one tomorrow. It's a little, it's a, like a Christmassy type block. And just once a month, I post a free scrappy uh, project. And I have a Facebook group that's really active and they share like really beautiful, you know, their scrap projects and stuff like that. And I'm really having a lot of fun doing that. It's, and it keeps me on a nice schedule too. I can do something every month. So that's nice. What's your Facebook group called? <laughs> it's called Working Our Scraps Off. Working Our, oh, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> I figured I'd keep it the same as the YouTube uh, series. So perfect. Is that like uh, in your LinkedIn as well? Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. So just to let everybody know, after we're done with this, I'm going to go and make sure that everybody's uh, social media is in the description box. It might take me a, a few minutes, but I'm going to get all that in there. So you'll be able to find everybody's everything that I know of Brett's shop. Uh, cause people have been asking a lot about that. Um, Stephanie's, uh, long arming services, her shop. Um, I know that Kathy's got her YouTube. Christy's got an amaze balls YouTube and she's on Instagram and everything. She posts every day. So you guys want to go check that out. Um, and I'll make sure that everybody has all those links. Awesome. Does anybody else have anything going on? Kathy, I know that you're finishing up the Fort Worth. Right. So on Monday, we're going to be assembling the whole thing. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah. And we know Brett's got something secret coming up in January you can't talk about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, always busy working on something else, too. Yeah. So, so where yeah, can I, people follow you to hear the announcement? Um, you can check out Northcott's site, but I'm on. I, I'm not on YouTube because I've seen that pop up, like, where's Brett's YouTube? I'm not a YouTuber. So you can find me either on Instagram or Facebook at Natural Born Quilter um, or on my website. If you subscribe to my blog, when I do a blog entry, which I try to do, I mean, I should, I'll do one in the new year. Uh, I send it like a little newsletter and they're usually fairly photo heavy and stuff with stuff that's coming up or exciting stuff. So um, check that out, just naturalbornquilter.com. Awesome. Awesome. Steph, what you got coming up? Well, in the immediate future, um, tomorrow on my channel, Yvette and I are just going to do a little um, UFO sewing. If you have any last minute Christmas projects you want to finish, come on over and chat with us and sew along. And then I have a whole list of questions that I didn't go through because they're very quilter heavy. So Yvette and I will kind of go through those tomorrow and answer some of those. Awesome. Um, then the Fort Worth Fabric Studio, of course, the blocks are behind me on the wall. I can't, I'm so excited to finish that. The finishing instructions come out on Monday. And then in the, in the future, I'm going to do a spring block of the week, so along. And then I have my reach, my first ever retreat that I organized coming up in April. So lots of things. Lots of things. Yeah. Now, Christy, what's up for you? I know that you're, you're aiming to get to a certain number on YouTube. Yes, I am. Nobody's counting, but I'm 239 people away from 25K. <laughs> Feels like a big number. You're going to see some changes. I haven't made any formal announcement yet, but you'll hear it here first. There's going to be a few changes on my channel in the new year. Um, some exciting things. Um, so stay tuned. Awesome. 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 Uh, I, for me, I basically am going to be working on finishing up blog vlogmas. Um, 
I am working toward downsizing my quilt shop online so that I can focus more on teaching and uh, tutorials on YouTube and more designing of um, patterns and really amping up piecing it real because that has been like my dream for so long and the darn quilt shops getting in the way. So I'm going to ease on out of the quilt shop and then, and move more toward my membership. So um, you can look for more information about that coming up in the new year. Awesome. Okay. I think that's, that's good. Unless there's anything else anybody wants to say. Thank you for having me. This was yeah, this thank was you. fun. It's my first live yeah, thank stream, you. so I was it's a little fun. nervous. So, <laughs> thank you for organizing all this. Great. Yes, bringing us all together. This was a lot of fun. Okay. It, it was, was fun. Lot. I had a great time. Thank yeah. you guys thank so you. much for agreeing to come on with me. Thank I couldn't have done it without you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I can't wait to go follow um, everybody and learn more about quilting. <laughs> Y'all are going to bring me over to the dark side. I know. I just know it. <laughs> something, just little projects. You don't even have to make a big quilt. You just make like something for the table. Oh, no, you don't. You know me. I can't just make something little. I got to jump in like that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> okay. And thank you to everybody who came and watched. Yeah. Honestly, if we had just been sitting here talking, 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 and y'all weren't there to you know, con converse back with us and interact. It wouldn't have been the same. And I love all of you so much. You have supported all of us for so long yes. and yeah. there's absolutely no way we could have done it without you ever. So I love you to pieces. Mm -hmm. we'll see you for the rest of Vlogmas and maybe we'll have another one of these, um, you know, comment in all of our channels. Um, how you liked it and and we'll consider doing it again so yep. thank you and so don't much forget to sign up for the giveaway yes yes i'm gonna put that down in the yep. description box too so everybody will be all set awesome okay bye you guys bye bye everybody bye, bye. 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 bye.